How's it going guys? Today we're going to be sending out some 220 kind of bears for some raccoon and some foothold traps for some coyotes. The first thing I want to talk about is having two sets of gloves. The first set of gloves is for when you're setting your traps up and uh, you want maybe some thicker gloves just in case the trap does go off and it does get you that you'll have some sort of protection. Second set of gloves is for bait and baiting your traps. Why you want the first set is for protection when you're setting the traps and for scent control. You don't want your hands and oils on the traps so that the uh, predators can smell you. And then with for the second set of gloves when you're baiting, you don't want to have a uh, bait on your traps so that's why you have two sets of gloves you want them to look past your trap and go after the bait and not smell your trap if it's under the ground for a coyote uh, you don't want them digging it up smelling it in the ground the second thing I want to talk about is a trap setting tool I mean if you're setting a lot of traps in a day having one of these is just just key to making it easy on your body and having being able to set traps all day and and take predators out of traps as well the third thing I want to talk about is having something to kneel on and this is good for scent control as well and for making it easier on your body when you're working around ground level setting all your traps. The fourth thing I want to talk about is having a pair of rubber boots. I mean this is good for scent control and also keeping your feet warm. Uh, there's no snow out today but when there is having a pair of these will keep your feet warm throughout the day if you're running a whole bunch of traps. The fifth thing I want to talk about is having safety and caution when you're handling traps. You don't want anything to just snap off accidental because when you're setting a trap anything can happen so always take as much caution and safety. That's just five quick essentials that every trapper should need or if you're just getting started. set this trap I'm gonna put it in our little trap stand right there we're gonna get both of these off to the side make sure that our uh, guards are on and then put the dog set it right there in the middle just like that and I'm gonna take them down in our little trap stand here there we go get a little stake stake her down Now I'm gonna take some sticks and make it more of a funnel so that the coons will have to go right right through the trap. Kind of brush it in a little bit. Now I'm gonna flip the guards off.
and that trap's all ready to go. We got a deer trail right here and it wides down there, but this is the most narrow spot. So I'm gonna put a trap here in the most narrow spot, hoping that a coon will use their trail, which they do, and get caught in this, get caught right before this Y. Another thing that is that you want to do is keep your trap up off the ground so it doesn't get frozen, and that's what this does right here. We got another pretty good trail going right here. We're only gonna put one trap in this one, and then if it does catch one, maybe come back and put two or three in the same trail. scraped up and it's fallen off. If you look up, you can even see a hole right there. And you can see how the bark is falling off from them crawling in and out. So I'm gonna set a bucket trap with a little bait in it about 10 yards away and uh, hopefully we get one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later.